watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. So I bought this cargo van that I plan on turning into a camp out bug out vehicle. So I can bug out with my motorcycle. You are watching my bug out van build series. Hey be sure to check out my bug out van build series. Video links are in the description section of this video. An unboxing of my Kenwood Multimedia head unit, and the reason why I chose this particular model is because it's one of the cheapest Sirius satellite ready head units available that had the best reviews on it. You know, I'm cheap, but I want one of the best products for the price, so this is the best bang for your buck. Uh, as you see, there it comes with a remote control, the basic stock wire harness, and it comes with a microphone. And by the way, this has Bluetooth, so I can connect it to my iPhone 4S. As you see there, the head unit is actually smaller in width than a lot of the other aftermarket head units. As you see on the back, it does have a subwoofer jack. And it also has a Sirius Satellite Ready port, which you have to purchase the accessory to hook it up. And I did purchase that. And I will be hooking it up with satellite radio. By the way, I purchased this two-drawer night table or whatever you want to call it. I purchased it off of Amazon for really cheap. It was absolutely perfect for my setup because the bottom it had an open shelf on the bottom and I can put my head unit there as you see there and also be able to put my Nintendo 64 underneath and I just purchased those brackets off of Amazon which I'll include links in the info section of this video if you'd like to purchase some yourself and uh, I will not be replacing my stock radio this is a radio for the back of the van as you see the drawers slide out too easy so in order to prevent the drawers from sliding out while I'm driving I put some velcro in the back of the drawer to provide some resistance and that did the trick however if the drawers were to slide out anyways it does have a, a stopper uh, that goes in the top part so it prevents the drawer from completely sliding out and here's the head unit installed now we'll be taping the wires up for a much cleaner look I'll do that when I complete all the wiring as far as a subwoofer, I purchased a low pro 10 inch amplified subwoofer that you see right here. It has a built in amplifier. It's really thin. This can actually fit underneath the car seat and it's really cheap guys. And it got good reviews on Amazon. I just hooked it straight up to my battery. My whole audio system is running off of solar. Uh, so I really wanted to keep the power to a minimum. That's why I'm not, you're not seeing me going all out with all kind of speakers and amps and all that. And I did purchase Pioneer uh, four way six and a half inch speakers just two of them and I'm hooking them straight up to the head unit no amplifier like I said I'm not trying to make a banging system to use a lot of power uh, as far as the wiring all you need to do is just take the red and yellow wire for the power and of course the black for the ground and for the speakers it's the white and white and black and the uh, gray and gray and black uh, wire you'll use and as far as uh, be a, a blue wire that you'll connect up to the amplifier and also that thick blue wire that you see there will be connected to the RCA input in the uh, head unit by the way this is a uh, boss amplifier kit it's really cheap I'll include a link in the info section of the video even comes with uh, the fuse holder as you see there uh, pretty good setup here I actually included more wire than I actually needed but everything is really easy to uh, to wire guys it's not a big deal if you look in the manual of the head unit it explains what all the wires are and uh, as far as speaker wire, I got some oxygen free uh, copper wire there. Um, a good deal on it, and it's some of the best wire that you can actually purchase off of Amazon. I'll include a link in the info section of this video. Now it's time to show you everything installed. You notice you can't even see my solar panels on the roof, but yet I have 400 watt monocrystalline bendable solar panels that provides all my power needs and it will be powering my audio system and everything else in the back of the van and also I added a few new additions in the van I did add a paper towel rack as you see there at the top right uh, shave mirror and also some blackout curtains up front and also made some uh, custom speaker boxes for my six and a half inch speakers and I put all the speakers uh, on the bottom of the bed there that, that is a fold-up bed if you didn't know if you haven't been watching my build series here are my blackout curtains from the front and these are just some old regular old blackout curtains from Walmart I'll include a link in the info section of this video and I just installed them with a regular old curtain rod just bolted them right up uh, and that's a 10 inch monitor for my backup camera and also I can use it for my Nintendo 64 as well 
As you see there, the blackout curtains do a great job of providing privacy and blocking out the light. Okay, let's take a look at the drawer installed in back. As I told you guys, I did put some Velcro in the back of the drawer so it does provide some resistance so that way I don't have to worry about the drawer sliding out. But even if it does slide out, it does have a stopper to prevent it from completely sliding out all the way. And I just bolted that drawer to that rib there so uh, the drawer is nice and secure. Okay, cut the radio off and let's check the volt meter. As you see there, 12.9 volts. Batteries are still fully charged. Okay, now let me show you my rear view camera system, uh, which is powered by the van, by the way. I did splice off of the 12 volt outlet. I installed the toggle switch so that way I can flip the monitor on anytime I want to. Uh, previous to this monitor, I did have a cheap 7 inch monitor that absolutely sucked. So I went ahead and upgraded to this Pile 10 inch monitor, which actually had speakers. And as you see there, the resolution is nice and clear. And this rear view camera, which is really cheap, by the way, performs very well. As you see, it's really dark outside and look how light it is in the back. You can see everything in back of you. Excellent system. Hey, make sure to stay tuned for my HDTV powered and non-powered antenna review, and I will be doing a giveaway. That's right, folks. Giving away some free stuff. Also, make sure to stay tuned for my four camera surveillance system installed in my bug out van. So that way I can see what's going on around my van while I'm in the back of my van. As always, links to all items shown in this video are located in the description and comment section of this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces! Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.